Commission is up in arms after a three-judge bench of the High Court ordered the reinstatement of 10 million shillings grant payable to judges every four years overlooking the SRC. Now, the Commission says, if okayed, the net effect of the decision is that you and I, the taxpayers, will pay up to 2.5 billion shillings in four years. The taxpayers might be needed to cough more money to sustain the country's public servant wage bill if the 10 million car allowance for judges scrapped off in the year 2021 is reinstated. Big concern for the commission is that it is going to cost the taxpayers 2.5 billion. This comes after the High Court ruled in favor of the judges. The commission now vowing to appeal the ruling, an appeal that Mengit says might face a big challenge due to conflicting interest. A process such as this, uh, we still believe that mediation would have been the better option uh, rather than going through a process where the other party has a direct benefit, financial benefit. It is still the same uh, judges who will still hear and they, it is still a benefit to them. There have been a number of attempts to reinstate the grant by the judges. A few months ago, however, the commission requested JSC not to file a petition and requested for out-of-court mediation, a request that bore no fruits. The motion was conducted by a three-judge bench, among them Patricia Nyaundi, Lawrence Mugambi and Chachamuita, where lawyers Peter Wanyama and Elish Ngoya represented the two parties. Can we have a process of mediation uh, instead of going through the court process? Uh, but the judiciary took a different view and gave assurance that they will be impartial. The grant was legalized following a proposal by Joseph Kenyua, who was by then the head of public service during Uhuru's government, a grant they say constitutionally is not within the mandate of head of public service office and conferring such benefits should however reside with the commission. Notwithstanding the fact that the commission was already established, was made by the head of public service. The head of public service does not have the mandate in the constitution to review or to set any benefit of any state officer. All eyes are now set on the commission and the high court that will eventually decide on whether Kenyans get a reprieve from the imposing of the grant or will the judges get their way. Kruger Ewell, TV 47.